negative equation this line it is tangent to the circle s equals to 0 at 1 comma 1 and if radius of circle is root 13 find the equation of circle now there are many ways to solve this question and one of the ways we have this circle which touches this straight line at 1 comma 1 and this line is 2x minus 3y plus 1 equals 0 now let the center be alpha beta and its radius is root 13 now we know that perpendicular distance from the center to a tangent is equal to its radius so we can write mod of 2 alpha minus 3 beta plus 1 upon under root 13 will be equal to simply under root 13 and this is our first equation now we know that foot of perpendicular from center on this line is this point 1 comma 1 so what we'll do is we'll use the formula for foot of perpendicular so it'll be this alpha minus 1 upon 2 will be equal to beta minus 1 upon minus 3 that is equal to minus and then 2 alpha minus 3 beta plus 1 upon 13 now 2 alpha plus 3 beta plus 1 upon 13 is plus or minus 1 so basically this will be plus or minus 1 and essentially there will be two such points so basically we'll have two centers now we take this plus sign then we'll get alpha minus 1 by 2 equals 1 and beta minus 1 by minus 3 equals 1 so in this case value of alpha is 3 and value of beta is minus 2 so it will be 3 comma minus 2 and if we take this minus sign then it will be alpha minus 1 equals minus 2 so it will be this minus 1 and here will be this 3 plus 1 4 so center could be at 3 comma minus 2 or at minus 1 comma 4 now once we have center and radius we can write equation to this circle so it will be this x minus 3 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square and that will be equal to 13 or it will be x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square equals 13. So that's one way of solving the question. Another way is slope this line is 2 by 3 means slope of this line will be minus 3 by 2 and this slope will be beta minus 1 upon alpha minus 1 and this is minus 3 by 2 so we get 2 beta minus 2 equals minus 3 alpha plus 3 or basically we can write beta equals 5 minus 3 alpha by 2 so we have this center as alpha comma 5 minus 3 alpha by 2 now we know that point on the circle is 1 comma and radius is under root 13 so we can write alpha minus 1 whole square plus beta minus 1 and that will be 5 minus 3 alpha by 2 minus 1 whole square and it will be equal to 13 now this is alpha minus 1 whole square and here it will be this 5 minus 2 3 that will be 9 by 4 alpha minus 1 whole square and that will be equal to 13 so basically we will get alpha minus 1 whole square as 4 so alpha minus 1 will be plus or minus 2 so we get alpha is either plus 3 or alpha is minus 1 now if alpha is 3 then center will be 3 comma 9 minus 5 4 minus 2 and if alpha is minus 1 then it will be minus 1 and then 8 by 2 is 4 so again we have center and radius we can write equation of this circle another method that we can use is system of circles so this point is 1 comma 1 we can write equation of family of circles touching this line at this point so it will be given by this point circle which is x minus 1 square plus y minus 1 square plus lambda and l equation of this line is 2x 
minus 3y plus 1 equals 0. So it will be this 2x minus 3y plus 1 equals 0. So it will be this x square plus y square minus 2x minus 2y plus 2 plus 2 lambda x minus 3 lambda y plus lambda equals 0. So this equation will be x square plus y square plus 2 lambda minus 1x minus 3 lambda plus 2y plus lambda plus 2 equals 0. Now center of the circle will be at 1 minus lambda and 3 lambda plus 2 by 2 and its radius will be under root of 1 minus lambda square plus 3 lambda plus 2 upon 2 whole square minus c and minus c is minus lambda plus 2 and that will be equal to under root 30. Now v square it we can write this as 4 lambda square plus 1 minus 2 lambda plus 9 lambda square plus 4 12 lambda minus 4 lambda minus 8 4 into 13 now this is 13 lambda square now this is minus 8 minus 4 12 lambda lambda will cancel and constant term will also cancel so they'll be equal to 4 into 13 now this 13 will cancel so value of lambda is either plus 2 or minus 2 so we have two values of lambda plus 2 and minus 2 now if we take lambda is plus 2 then we can write this equation as x square plus y square plus 2x minus 8y plus 4 equals 0 and here the center will be minus 1 comma 4 and if we take lambda is minus 2 then this equation will be x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y equals 0 in which case center is 3 comma minus 2. So these are the three ways to solve this question.